Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Box and Reviews on How To, and today we're going to show you how to disable that annoying nagware from Microsoft that says, let's finish setting up your computer. Now this often pops up just randomly or after there has been some significant update to the system, such as the one which is coming out shortly. So this potentially might save you the, uh, the hassle of just clicking no, no, and no. But let's go into the computer and show you how it's done. Okay, so this is a Windows 11 computer. The same actually applies to Windows 10 as well, but the layout will be slightly different, but the uh, the actual process is the same. There is also a registry entry you can do, so if you don't want to faff around, there is going to be a registry entry. I'll put the links to that in the video description, and I'll show you how to do that as well in the video, so that will be in the text box down below the video. So let's start off, and uh, we'll just try and do it the easy way. So the easy way, click on the start flag, go to system settings, then head over to system, then head into notifications. Now, if you want to, if you're annoyed by the pop-ups from Windows in general, you can, of course, just turn off notifications entirely. That, for some people, is preferable, but for me, I do like to have some things, such as my Synology Active Backup for Business notifications and Discord, those types of things. So I'm gonna leave that actually on, but like I said, you can just turn all of those off. But you'd think that would actually stop those annoying nagware notifications as well, but Sadly, it doesn't, so we're going to have to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Then we're going to click on Additional Settings, scroll down a little bit further, and these are the ones that you want to uncheck. So you've got the Show the Windows Welcome Experience after updates, and when I've signed in to show what's new and suggested. You've also got the Suggested Ways to Get the Most Out of Windows and Finish Setting Up This Device, that is the important one. And also you've got the Get Tips and Suggestions When Using Windows. So my suggestion is, if you want to get rid of all those, just uncheck all of them if they are currently checked, which it's very likely they will be. And essentially, that is it. Now obviously, if you want to restore them at any point, you just put the tick box back in. That's very simple to do. And just make sure that you have your notifications set to on. If it's set to off, they're still going to be there. So yeah, just make sure you get rid of them. So that is the kind of the easy way of doing it. The alternate way of doing it is doing it via the registry. Now let's open up the notepad document. This is a Word document and we're going to convert this to a registry entry very shortly. So this is the important bit here, the D word value. So the D word value, if it is set to one, this means it is enabled, i.e. you will get notifications. So what we want to do is to delete the one, put a zero, and that effectively disables it. So what we can do now is do file and save as. And rather than save it as a text document, we'll change it to all files. We'll remove the TXT file extension and we'll convert it to a registry entry by using the REG tag on the end. Click on save and there we go. We've now got a registry entry. So what we can do is we can double click on this and you'll get user account control come up saying, do you want to allow changes? Yes, we do. You'll also get information saying that potentially these can be uh, harmful, etc but this is okay because we know exactly what is in there. So we can click on yes. And there we go. The key has been successfully added to the registry. Now, of course, if you want to undo it, all you need to do is to put a one there, remove the zero, do file, save as, and you can call this enable dot reg click on save. So there you go. Now we've got one to disable and we've got one to enable it. So yeah, pretty straightforward stuff. Hopefully this has been helpful to you and will prevent the uh, awful nagware from Microsoft every time there's an update. So there you go. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple thing to do. For most people, it's going to be easier to do it from the actual Windows settings. This does apply to Windows 10 and also Windows 11. Like I said, the Windows 10 version will have a slightly different look. I haven't filmed that one specifically because Windows 10 is coming to the end of its life cycle. And I think Windows 11 is going to be where most people are going to be at. But let me know in the comment section below if this has been helpful to you. And if you actually get annoyed by these things that are nagging you from Microsoft on a daily basis, be interested to hear your thoughts. But I think that's going to wrap this one up. I'll be Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.